welcome back to another vlog. Bet you weren't expecting this hair to be here. Uh, neither was I. So, currently, we are on our way to get my hair fixed. Well, we haven't left yet. We're in our driveway. <laughs> um, yeah, let's, uh, let's unpack this hair for a second. Uh, here's a photo of what I asked for, color-wise. This is what I got. It actually looks a lot better right now because it's cloudy outside. Yesterday and like the sun. Oh my goodness. Sorry. Um, you could really see how bad this is. It's like so yellow and then randomly like a little purple. I feel like this lighting is going to make it look normal. But uh, anyways, this is way too dark on this side. Also, it's like bleached on this side still like she messed that up this is like totally orange I just don't know what to do also she put tape ins which I really did not want so whenever I put my hair up that's all you can see it looks like a bald spot it's just the worst I think this is the worst my hair has ever been done and it costs so much money, huh? Oh, it costs so much money. I'm sick to my stomach about how much my hair costs. And I have to go get it redone. Anyways, I went to a different stylist. My stylist I've been going to for like five years is just too busy. Uh, she's not working as much, doesn't have a nanny. And she doesn't text me back for a hair appointment. I couldn't wait any longer. I went to somebody new who was recommended to me and this is what happened also we were at the salon for 11 hours we got home at 1 a.m i don't understand what i mean it took a long time to remove my hair extensions from before but um it took like six hours for her to dye my hair like this and put these extensions in which i don't even like they she didn't even cut them like it just goes like my layer of hair from like the shaggy haircut I had to like just straight. Poor Jace is coming with me again. Hopefully he doesn't have to sit in the car for 11 hours. Like look at this, it's not even enough hair. <laughs> Anyways, I'll shut up about the hair. How about the weekly vlogs are back? Ashtoberfest is coming to an end. Back to weekly vlogs. You good? Yes. <laughs> I have the keys this time. That's good news. That's exactly what we need. We've got so many new things to share in this vlog. Uh, I guess we can't share until we get home. But hopefully my hair looks better than this when we get back. I forgot to update my hair. It looks so much better. It's not as icy as I wanted it, but... Um, it looks pretty good. She's gonna fix it a little bit more too, but uh, I think I like it. It's still darker. Oh. Still darker than I wanted, but it had to be fixed. My mom and I are going. Hi, mom. Yeah. Are you ready to be back in the vlogs? Of course. We're going to shoot this morning for fall presets. Off we go. Oh, you loaded the car. You put in one load. I oh carried everything else. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Bye bye. I said, what are your thoughts on the first location of the day? Windy. My nose run and my eyes water. We are in, let me turn. We're at Lake Castaic. Literally no one here. Um, it's gorgeous. But it is really, really cold and windy. There were a bunch of little duckies over here, but they left us. Oh, All right, ready? We have to go back up this hill now. We were going to rent a boat, but um. <laughs> Who knows how to drive a boat? Not me. Um, my mom used to have a boat, but I think 
we'd be too scared to go out by ourselves. So maybe my dad will come drive a boat for us. Right? right. <laughs> I can do a rowboat, but not a big boat. And I'm not going in a rowboat because I feel like we'd be out there and it's over. The wind would take us away. <laughs> my hair is all static. I'm getting Are you angry. being funny? I'm getting kind of, I feel PMS coming on. Oh no. Yeah, so saddle up. <laughs> What, what we got going here? I'm trying to change in the car yet again. I forgot the boots I wanted to wear here. Where are we at? Well, the middle of Malibu Canyon, Jack's Trail, Jack-o'-lantern's trail. Shall we discuss the boomer okay. humor? You have boomer humor. I know, I came up with that term. I'm happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> but I know. You're I ready? didn't put myself tanner on. Why would you need a tan if you're doing fall pictures? Okay. You have porcelain skin. I look like uh, cream cheese frosting. Like marshmallow fluff. Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> oh, come on. You look beautiful. Right. As always. Okay, I'm gonna shut her down so we can see what walk. Like. Is this cute or ugly? Ash, I can't okay. shut it off. <laughs> it says record. Please. <laughs> You're still recording. Does she know how to work the camera? Apparently not. Um, I have to do a sponsored post for Buxom, their holiday collection some cute lippies and it's disco themed so i've got my little disco dress on i still got my slippers and leggings on down here and my setup right now i just have my light up against this white wall and i'll put my phone here and hopefully it'll turn out cute so i thought i'd just share what i was doing um, I don't know if you can see from here. Not very much, so never mind. I will show you what it looks like when it's done. So this is the lip. It is so cute. I think it's gonna be a new every day. Just changed into this. This mirror's been over here now. I don't know why. But um wearing my space hoodie. There's still sizes left. I'm wearing an extra large because I wanted it kind of oversized and long so I could wear it without pants because who even wears pants anymore? It's quarantine. So I have some exciting news to share. Um, it's been a while since we vlogged so I feel like this is going to come as a huge surprise but for us it's been about a month. <laughs> we have someone to introduce you to. This is Lenny. Look at him. You good baby. You good baby. This is little Leonard and he was not planned. <laughs> I feel like I'm describing a pregnancy. He was not planned but um we love him so much and he's a good baby. Let me sit somewhere more comfortable. Please excuse the laundry. So the story behind Lenny, little Lenny boy, is our old neighbor texted me and said like, hey, do you want a dog? And I'm like, yes, of course. But Jace was like, no, thank you. Um, but me, being how I am with dogs, like I would die for my dogs. They are the loudest plan I've ever heard in my life. I would do anything for my dogs. Without dogs, I swear I would be in the deepest depression of my life. They're just the best ever. If you don't have a dog and you have like any type of mental health problems, anxiety, depression, anything, get a dog. Obviously if you can take care of it, but that's just a little bit of me and who I am as a person. <laughs> if there's a dog in need, I'm, I'm your girl. I'm coming to the rescue. So, um, she had bought him Okay, you can go run around. She bought the baby through a breeder, of course, and um, 
she only had him for 20 like less than 24 hours and already decided that she didn't want him <laughs> like puppies are hard he was only eight weeks old he had been flown on an airplane by himself poor little thing i can't like i'll cry thinking about it who puts the baby on a plane who did that <laughs> anyways um of course when she started telling me um that she was like going to give him to another family I just, I had this feeling that like I had to get him and make sure that he had a good home. I was so worried that this poor baby was going to go to like a bad home. I don't know why. I just had a feeling. I don't know who the other people were. I just had this feeling. And um, so we brought him home and he's been here for like three weeks, almost a month. Um, the other boys don't love him yet. They're, they've been okay. Ozzy's been the best with him. Rue is scared of him and Nicholas is mean to him so it's been quite the transition he has like a little a big pen set up in our room over here with a bunch of toys his bed his blankie and he's already potty trained pretty much he still has accidents inside because he's a baby and he's so tiny he has to tinkle all the time but he knows to go outside we take him outside all day and all that so we're also going to a trainer. We have a dog trainer appointment this week. It's like a big outdoor private appointment because um, the other boys and they're barking, like we cannot get it under control. We've tried everything. We had another trainer a couple, like two years ago and his methods just did not work for us. Where are you going? Hello, Lenny. Lenny's a lot different from our other boys. He's very, um, He's playful, but he's a lot more calm. He loves to lay around and cuddle. He's curious, but he isn't as crazy. <laughs> like with Ozzy, when we got him, he was just so wild and ripping around and Rue is the same way. So Ozzy, you better be nice to that baby. I don't like them to play without me watching. Come here. Come here, buddy. Ozzy's very nice to him, but I think he plays a little rough sometimes. I am super excited to introduce little Lenny to you. He is so cute. I'm not gonna lie, it's been a little bit of an adjustment. Poor Jace is like, we need to get this house under control, it's a zoo. But um, he loves the boys so much and we wouldn't change a thing. We also, just while we're on the topic of dogs, um, <laughs> we switched their diet. This was before we got Lenny. We had switched all the boys over to a raw diet because after doing a lot of research, I thought that that was a really good idea for them and you know, what they're meant to eat and all this stuff. So it did not go well. It's very expensive, which I knew and I was ready to make that adjustment. It just, they all got sick. Everyone except for Rue got sick off of it. Um, even the baby when we got him, they were feeding him baby food. Um, at eight weeks old, which I thought was really strange. They were feeding him every two hours, like, baby food for humans. Um, I immediately took him to our vet and was like, is that okay? And he's like, no, don't feed him baby food. <laughs> so, um, anyways, he started out on freeze-dried raw food, and he did okay for a couple days. Since he's little, he has to eat more often because his blood sugar can go low, but he's being so cute right now. Are you playing? Are you playing? Who's that? Who's that? He plays kind of like a cat sometimes with his paws. <laughs> Anyways, the baby got sick eating the raw food. He was having like really bad potty issues. And so we took him to the vet and Nicholas gave us a really big scare. He was throwing up like six times a day for a couple days straight. The emergency vets at night were like six hour wait time so we couldn't take him he couldn't get into his vet for a couple days but he was totally acting normal like he wanted to play still he was hungry he wanted water really bad even though we took it up for a couple hours because he couldn't keep anything down we thought he might have had like a blockage but we had previously like the week before taken Ozzy to the vet because he had really bad potty issues and was acting but his stomach was super bloated, which bloat is like a deadly thing that dogs can get. So anyways, Ozzy was fine. He got antibiotics, did x-rays and all that. Um, but Nicholas, we took him and the baby just yesterday. And 
uh, Nick had blood work done in an x-ray. Everything is fine. He's just really inflamed and like stiff on the inside, his intestines and stomach. So he got antibiotics, vitamin B12, some nausea stuff from his vet. Now he's on a like anti-vomiting medication and he's been doing really good. We've switched all of them off their raw food um, from advice from our vet who we love. And we are now cooking all of their meals at home. So these are some <laughs> spoiled little babies. Hi. Ozzy has gained so much weight during quarantine. When we switched them to raw food, Ozzy gained like two pounds, which doesn't seem like a lot, but for a little baby, it is quite a lot. And he's like, he's a big boy. He's a big boy. Ozzy's my best pal. Anyways, that's a little dog update for everybody. I love having all of the boys here. I can't wait for Lenny to get a little bit bigger so that he can kind of stand his ground when Nixie's being a little territorial, but hopefully our dog training goes well. He's a really highly recommended um, dog trainer in our area. I have so much to do. I'm working on the presets. The presets are so cool. I can't wait. I can't wait to show everybody because when I can stop posting my Halloween stuff on Saturday, I can start posting like the shoots that my mom and I have been doing and show the new presets because they're, I say this every time, but it's like, they're so cool. They're, they're my favorite for right now. Like such a fall vibe, but it also doesn't have to be a fall vibe, but if you want it to, it is. And then I'm doing another pack that I asked on Instagram, like, what everybody needs out of presets like what are you looking for what can't you find and i got like a big group of people <laughs> i got a group of people saying that they need presets for every color of the rainbow pretty much like if you're wearing all red you want the red to pop and things like that so are you barking i'm gonna be doing kind of like a rainbow pack that's when i say rainbow pack it makes you think like bright rainbow but really it's just gonna be different presets for each color so if you're wearing orange the orange will look really good uh, if you're wearing green it'll look really good or if you're in like something that's like a lot of trees it's gonna look good and you know the colors of the rainbow and it's also gonna have a uh, black white and neutral in there as well so a really good well-rounded pack of presets for literally anybody anything any picture so Working on that, I need to eat something so maybe I can go see what food I have to eat. <laughs> it's the next day. <laughs> Quite literally, right after I stopped vlogging yesterday, Nicholas got really bad and we had to take him to the emergency vet. Um, as far as we know, he's okay. He ended up doing like a pancreatitis test. It came back negative. He was just like whimpering, really like seemed to be in a lot of pain. Um crying restless wouldn't lay down he seemed really uncomfortable so um, when he started crying when i was picking him up and his stomach was like really hard to the touch i panicked and we took him but they gave him fluids and stuff again and he cried all night whimpered all night we felt so bad like i can't stand to see him in pain um, but he didn't throw up again well, he threw up on the way to the emergency vet a lot in the car, but when we got home, he didn't. And this morning, I fed him and gave him, they gave him Pepsid, or like, antacid. And uh, I gave that to him with his food, and he seems to be doing a little bit better today. He hasn't been sick again, but he has been acting like really tired and kind of like, out of it, I guess. I will update if we find out anything else, but he seems to be on the mint so hopefully he feels better because poor baby's been sick for days anyways it's the last day of Ashtoberfest oh I can't wait to go to bed I can't wait to sleep but I actually can't sleep because I have to immediately do a bunch of stuff for presets that's the first time I really put my hair up by the way I love these hair extensions they are oh they're tape-ins, which I don't like tape-ins, so I was hesitant, but these are different. You can't even see them. I don't know if I already showed or not in this vlog. Oh, you can kind of see this blonde one. It has hair all the way to the scalp, so you can't tell that it's there unless you're really looking for it. And my hair is up pretty nice and flat. Love it. Doesn't tug on my hair. Hopefully my hair can grow back because I lost so much hair from those other extensions. 
Hi, Astro. Anyways, what I was saying, Ashtoberfest is done. I finished editing the last video today. <sighs> I'm just, I'm so tired. I, I'm happy that I did it. I'm so proud of it. I'm glad it's done. <laughs> and I need to go clean my makeup room. That's what I was going to vlog about. So let's, let's go. And the little baby's going to bark. I already know. You got to lay down. You got to take a nap. He's in his little pen. Are you okay? Look what he did to his potty pad. His new thing is taking his bowl of water and putting it in his mouth and bringing it to his blanket. And so he got it all over. That's not pee, that's just water. Did you spill your, oh, did you spill your water, crazy boy? Ouch, ouch, we don't bite. We don't bite. Oh, we have my merch in the hallway. So there's still a little bit left. If you need to get yours, everything's been cleaned. Oh, there he goes. Okay, I'm honestly embarrassed to show this, but <laughs> this is what Ashtoberfest looks like. There's like my coffees over on the ground. My trash is overflowing. I've got stuff everywhere. This is the giveaway stuff that I'll be shipping out this week. I don't even know what this is. So I will be cleaning for the next couple hours. And um, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is where I'm gonna be. Oh, don't even get me started on my closet. I just have shoved everything in there. A shoe that I never even used. There's like props everywhere. I better go get the baby and bring him in here or else he's gonna whine. And, um, I'm gonna clean. Here we have mom, already upset for the day. Why? Because we're... And dad. We a snapper on the boat. Well, I didn't catch any red snappers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thomas. We're on okay. a boat. And the photo shoot is going well today. Any thoughts, mom? Ladies and gentlemen, we're at the Bass Pro circuit here. This is where Final day of this tournament. <laughs> this is where we're taking pictures for today. So we came to this lake because my dad wanted to fish. He's visiting for a couple days. And I usually hate boats, but this lake is really, really calm. So we're just cruising. My parents are having a conversation about boats. And we're looking for a cute place to take some pictures. There's nobody here. When you start to slow down, let her know because she's standing and I don't want her to go flying off. Are you trying to send me overboard? No. <laughs> this is today's shoot outfit. I um, gained a little bit of weight here, so these <laughs> boots do not pull up as much as they should. That is what quarantine has done to me. Uh, this is also not a dress, but I'm wearing it as one. Trying to quickly finish up some of the shoots for presets, and um, I haven't updated the vlog in a couple days. This vlog is actually like a two-week piece altogether. Coming back to vlogging, we're trying to get back on schedule. We ended up taking the dogs to a <laughs> dog trainer. He was really great, but um, it's a lot of work, so we've been kind of doing that. A lot, a lot of work with these boys. Um, Lenny's doing good. Little baby's good. Nick got really, really sick again, and we took him to the vet, and now he's totally fine. They gave him some antibiotics. They gave him, like, an antacid that he was taking for a couple days, as well as, like, an anti-vomiting medicine. And now he's back to his old self. So he must have gotten some kind of bacteria from the raw food. That's what we're thinking. What else has gone on? We decorated for Christmas. I will show you. I have like a little haul I'm gonna insert here. All right, our tree, our scrawny little tree is up. Hey boy. Got this cute pillow, the cutest pillow I've ever seen in my whole life. And these little, what are these, candy cane Christmas trees? 
next to our scrawny tree. Let me back up so you can get the full. Really small, tiny guy. Don't have much room here. And let's find my favorite ornament. We have little Oz Joe. I like this guy too. Who else? Where's Nixie? Oh, there's Nixie's little sure crooked. That's in. not the best ornament. Where's Rue? Mm -hmm. There's Rue. And we don't have one for a little guy yet. Who do you have? The money in the bank briefcase. Notice how that one's in the back of the tree. <laughs> This tree, I really wanted to just do green vibes this year, but then, I don't know, something made me want to do, like, red and green cheesy Christmas vibes. So we've got me, Jason, Mom. We have to get one for my dad. Excuse me. What's he doing? <laughs> Running in circles. We have these pretty little guys from last year. Lots of Christmas trees. Jay's leaving his stuff everywhere. Just your usual Christmas stuff. Lots of Christmas trees. For pillows, we got a bunch of these from Target. And then this one from Michael's. Add a little red. These are green, but you can't really tell. Green Thoreau blanket. Mom is still working on the table, but we changed the table runner. We have some Christmas candles. This I used to put a candle in with coffee. I think Katie is the one who posted about that last year. And then you put like a like cookie candle in here and it smells really good. Um, what else? I have a little bit of stuff up here. It's not done yet. And our wreath needs to be hung up. Are you in the Christmas spirit, Mom? No. Okay. I'm having a bad day. <laughs> Lenny boy. Lenny boy. Lenny. Hey. Oh, okay. I love Christmas time and it's it's just been Halloween here since like, I don't even know. Like right after quarantine hit, I started planning for Halloween because I'm like, okay, I have all this time. And um, I'm just over Halloween, tired of hearing about the election. I'm so over it. I just want the winner like announced. By the time you're watching this, it's probably already announced. But at this point we're on like, it's like Friday and they just keep talking about it. And it's like, please just tell us who it is. It's so much anxiety going on. I'm sure everybody's feeling it this week. I'm trying to avoid the news right now and avoid social media because it's just a lot to take in. Um, I voted for Biden. I talked about this on my Instagram, but it's just, it's too much. So I'm not going to even talk about it here because I'm sure you guys are overhearing about it. So my mom and I are about to go shoot this outfit and then I pretty much have no time to do anything this weekend because my sister and I are going on a girl's trip. We had this planned like pre-quarantine and it got moved because of quarantine and now it's like we either have to go or we don't get our money back. So we're going, it's just in Palm Springs which like I go all the time. And Palm Springs is very safe with COVID and everything so we're basically going to be doing a silent retreat kind of. That's what we decided where we're like just going to go unplug as much as we can and just take a break from our lives and I think everyone needs to do that at some point so be ordering food to our room and all of that stuff that goes on with traveling these days so sorry this vlog is a little bit just like me being super chatty um I'll be doing more next week obviously so I will vlog all of that plus I'm trying to get these presets done today and there's just like been a lot going on but for now I'm gonna go take pics of my cute outfit. 